You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and today we have a new event and a new face. Cindy Ethiakoska, Hello. welcome to Greater Brockton. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for coming on, and thank you for doing what we're about to talk about, okay? We have the first Keith Park Festival on Saturday, June 14th from 10 to 4. What's the Keith Park Festival? The Keith Park Festival is sponsored by the Keith Park Neighborhood Association, which is an organization myself and another woman started last year because we felt that everyone deserves a safe place to live with great things going on. So we created the Keith Park Neighborhood Association. Other neighbors have, are getting involved. And one of the things that we want to do is we're asset-based. So we're looking for the good things. So doing a festival is certainly um, a positive thing in the community that we can do. Now tell us, um, for those of the folks in Brockton or the greater Brockton area that don't know where Keith Park is, tell us where it is. Keith Park is located in Campello. Mm -hmm. It's a historic park and it's right on Main Street at the corner of Plain Street and Montello, right on Route 28. Okay, and at, at one point in time it had an estate or a mansion? They were In that park at one time was the home of George E. Keith, who mm -hmm. was the founder and owner of the Walkover Shoe Company, which comprised a very large section of Camp Hello. And um, after his death and um, his family left the home, it was um, in the will that the homes, there was four homes on the property, were to be torn down. And he, George was also on the City of Brockton Parks Commission. Mm -hmm. So parks was you know, something he believed very strongly in and donated the land to the city. And it's a really good sized park over there. It's like a whole corner. Yeah. Um, and some of, the, some of the work, some of the wall was part of the estate yes. at one point? Yes, yes. Okay, there's a nice flagpole there. And you and a whole group of people have cleaned it up. It looks... Yeah. One of the best looking parks in Brockton now. Thank you, yeah. Um, back in August and then back in um, April, the um, Helping to Unite cleanup crew, mm -hmm. they came, 50 people showed up and both times and we've cleaned that park. And a lot of people do use it, you know, different times you can drive by, see kids pl pass on a football, people sitting under a tree crocheting, people reading a book, or people just sitting on a bench and just mm -hmm. enjoying the day. And there's a lot of parks, hidden parks in Brockton. and. For a long time, it was. I mean, yeah. it, 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 it had seen better days at that point, but now it's beautiful, and yeah. people keep sprucing it up on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the event itself. Um, I'm just going to hold up, and we can probably edit it in later, um, this poster, which, um, of course, it's white, so that's the best thing in the world for television. I'll put it down now so my director doesn't yell at me. But um, there's something for everybody at this. I'm, I'm looking at entertainment. I'm looking, I, I heard you describing it before we were on the show, this magic, the good old council cords are there. Tell us, let's entice people to go to We this. have so many wonderful things going on with this. We are so excited about it. Um, we have, like you said, we have entertainment. Brockton's council cords will be performing. Magician Peter Vona will be performing, a gentleman named Robert Austin. The man sings just like Frank Sinatra. Mm -hmm. And um, he'll be performing the Teen Challenge Men's Choir will be performing. And we also have two people that were on the popular NBC TV show, The Voice, that will be on. Kate Ford, she was known on the show as Caitlin Michelle. Mm -hmm. And also Rhea Eaton, she was on this season. They're both Massachusetts girls, and they're going to be coming to sing. Um, we have crafters, we're going to have um, some raffles, we've got quite a few things, um, a gift basket from Texas Roadhouse, uh, the Boston Red Sox have given us a signed autograph ball by David Ross, the catcher. We have a family four pack and uh, parking from the Brockton Rocks and a whole bunch of other things that are going to be raffled. Um, there's going to be contests. We'll have a children's patriotic costume contest going on uh, with cash prizes and also a pie baking contest, which is something a little bit different. And um, we'll also have cash prizes for the homemade pies. And you have a few elected officials that are helping in sponsors for that, if I'm not mistaken. We right? have, yes, we do. Um, Michael Brady is sponsoring the 
patriotic contest, mm -hmm. and um, Register of Deeds John Buckley is sponsoring the pie contest. And uh, there's there's only one, I'm not gonna say negative note, but that's the day of the Democratic State Convention, so they're yeah. both gonna be away, as am I. It's killing me I know. that I'm not gonna be there. But they're there in spirit because they're good community people yes. that wanna support a great event mm -hmm. like this. Now, do you have a website? I, I'm pretty sure you're using social media and all sorts of things yeah. to get the word out. We Tell are, us how people would find out more. To find out more information, you can go to the Keith Park Neighborhood Association website at kpnabrockton.weebly.com. -E -E okay. Keith Park Neighborhood Association. Right. K-P-N-A Brockton at Weebly. No, dot no, Weebly. Dot Weebly. Dot com. Dot com, right. Okay. And we also have Facebook pages, Keith Park Neighborhood Association. Okay. And Keith Park Festival is also a page on Facebook. Okay, so you can click it and like it and all that stuff. Right. Get the word out. Now, I saw on social media that you're still looking for volunteers. We are. We do still need volunteers to help us with the setup, the breakdown, helping us to keep the park clean throughout the event. Um, well, the Keith Park Neighborhood Association, our, um, our fundraiser, in addition to the raffle, is a drink stand. Mm -hmm. So um, we're asking you know, for volunteers to help us with that and whatever else might arise throughout the day. Now, anybody and everybody can be involved. This Absolutely. is not a, you have to be a, 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 a born and bred native Brocktonian no, to we go want... You're looking to get everybody there. Yeah. We have different festivals, different ethnic groups, different things. This is for the whole community. This is for You don't have to just be from Camp Bello, right? No, this is, this is just like a good old fashioned kind of gathering mm -hmm. um, with the food. Cape Cod Cafe will be there. Lady C&J Soul Food. She's on Perkins Avenue and has the most amazing ribs. Mm -hmm. um, all home cooked. She's going to be there. Um, crafters and there'll, there'll be a large um, children's um, activity area. It's all free for the kids. Mm -hmm. Teen Challenge is going to be is sponsoring that and we'll right. be running and it. they're located right there in Camp They are. They are an organization right in Camp Pella on Main Street. They have a very you know large presence in the area and um, there'll be like water balloon tosses for the kids and all, all kinds of games and things uh, with prizes. So th there's so much going on that day. It's really exciting, and we want everyone to come. There'll be free parking at the commuter rail station in Campello. Mm -hmm. um, they have done that for us, um, which was just really huge because there's no parking at the park. Sure, the sure. Brockton Fire Department will be there with one of their, their vehicles um, for the kids to see. Um, I think one of the police department uh, motorcycles will be there okay. for people to see. So we just Those are new. They just came they out. They are right? brand new. So. so we get to see them there first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, how'd you come up with the whole idea? It's a group, like you said, the, the Neighborhood Park well, Association. But I mean, this is ambitious. Sure. We, um, like I said, we, we felt that we needed to have some activities. So back in April, we had a children's Easter egg hunt. We mm -hmm. had over 100 kids and their families come. They had um, a craft area. They had uh, the old-fashioned egg and spoon race, mm -hmm. looking for eggs. The Easter Bunny was there. The mayor was taking selfies with the Easter Bunny. I saw that. Yes. I saw that. And so. um, the kids just had a really great time. The families had a good time. It was only for an hour, mm -hmm. but it was just a full packed hour. So, you know, having that event, those are the things that bring the community together. And this is what the Keith Park Festival is about, is bringing the community together for a fun activity. Well, Family oriented, doesn't cost you anything. Oh, perfect. Um, just going to sum it up. Keith Park Festival, Saturday, June 14th, 2014, 10 to 4, Main and Plain Street, right in Campello, right in Brockton. Free for all, all sorts of things to do. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linder, your host. Stay tuned to, for more events, people, and places right here in the City of Champions.